Carry on my wayward son There'll be peace when you are done Lay your weary head to rest Don't you cry no more going to be a review of my AGM VSR-10 Airsoft Sniper Rifle. This is an Airsoft Spring Sniper Rifle. It shoots roughly 420 to 450 FPS out of the box when it's brand new. The rifle itself is $60 with a fake wood stock, 125 round magazine, and it does come with a speed loader, but I have that off to the side right now. Um, it does not come camouflaged, like I have put the time into doing, but it's really easy to do that, and I'll tell you guys about that later. It does not come with the scope. The scope rings were 6 bucks on Airsoft Megastore. Scope you can get for 20 bucks on AMS, Airsoft Megastore. So you can basically have a set sniper package that shoots at, a, at about 450 FPS for... 80 bucks. That's great. That's a, it's an, a, a great beginner's sniper rifle. Now all the tape I have on there, that's just for feeling. This gun is solid. There's not one crack in the stock. The barrel's on tight. Everything's all tight. You seldom have to um, tighten the screw in the back of the bolt, which I'll point out to you guys later. But I'm, uh, I have some tape on the fore end to hold the hop-up unit in place so when I'm running around with this thing it doesn't get knocked out of uh, calibration. But I'm... Uh, yeah, the only problem I've had with this gun was um, occasional jams where BB comes out of the magazine and goes into the port in the bottom of the cylinder, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But you just take the magazine out, pull the bolt back, and wiggle it back and forth a little. The BBs will drop out, you put the mag back in, close the bolt, and you're ready to get shooting. Um, yeah, so let me show you guys some other parts of this. Now for the ammunition and power supply portion of this video. This rifle is spring powered. You just pull the bolt back, a little bit of resistance cocks the spring, then you close it, loads it right into the chamber and you're ready to shoot. No batteries, no gas, only BBs, your gun and a magazine. So simple, so nice and so easy to maintain. You don't even have to take this thing apart to maintain it. It's awesome. For ammo, I recommend 0.25 gram BBs because the gun shoots over 420 FPS. 0.2s are just machine gun fodder. You know, not high quality, um, accurate ammunition. This gun, I've figured out at around 120 feet, it shoots off to the right. Every once in a while, you have some flyers just due to the cheap hop up bucking that's in the gun. But you could always get that replaced and you could get the Type 4 barrel put in, but I didn't even bother with that and this thing still shoots like a champ. Um. The spring is powerful. I'm not sure what type of spring it is. I believe you have to buy a bar 10 spring to put in this gun if you want to change out the spring, but then you'll need to buy a reinforced sear, poke out some pins, and put that in. I'd, I really don't make it, unless you really want to go through the trouble, go right ahead. But then the gun will be like worth 200 bucks by then. You could just buy a Snow Wolf X28, which I will do a review on in the future, which has all that in it. It's just simple. It comes with a speed loader, which is kind of obscured by the sun right now. And I'm, uh, I mean, a simple 90 round speed loader. The duct tape's on it just so I can tell it's mine when I'm throwing them in the bags with my, in the bag. And my friends are airsofting. We sometimes take each other's speed loaders. But I'm, uh, yeah, so I mean, in terms of power supply, 0.25 gram BBs. Pro slick, golden ball, whatever you want to shoot, just shoot it. And I'm um, 25 round magazine. Very nice, very cheap. Okay, just want to show you guys how to load the magazine really quick. You take your speed loader, load it with BBs, put it right on the top, and 
Total 26 rounds, I believe. 25 rounds. I'm not going to put it all the way. Save some BBs. And look, see, you now you can see the rounds in the magazine. They usually go all the way up in the back here. Wait a minute. Let me do that for you guys. Speed loader can just be a bit of a pain. Fuck that. Here I have the bolt open. I already pulled the spring back. And I'm just giving you guys a nice, good view of the scope. This is all custom by me. Nice little scope cap. I uh, put the um, uh, little face on there so <laughs> you know when you're shooting or when you can see through it. The eye relief is not too bad. This is a center point scope. These things are originally meant for um, 22 caliber rifles and air rifles. So the eye relief is like 10 millimeters around there. Nothing serious. You wouldn't put this on a higher powered rifle where the recoil would thrust it back possibly into your eye. So, But this is an airsoft gun, so you do not have to worry about um, a recoil slamming you in the face with your own scope. The um, windage and elevation adjustment is done by a flathead screwdriver. You just unscrew those two caps there, which they're a real pain to line up with all the burlap I have on there. So I won't take them off for you guys. Sorry about that. But um, uh, yeah, windage and elevation is pretty simple. It actually took me a while to figure it out because it says up and when you turn th it says up and then on the other one it says right and when you twist it in the opposite direction it goes to the direction you want it to go. It's, it's really strange. You'll have to you'll figure it out when you, if, when you get yourself a scope if you've worked with one. Oh, boy, oh, scope looks pretty nice. Scope caps were like ten dollars extra. But uh, they really get rid of that like legendary sniper glare, like you see the glare of a scope, which my brother actually had said when I was shooting with another one of my sniper rifles, he saw the glare before I shot his friend. But um, uh, these things are pretty fun. If you're into guerrilla warfare, gunning and r running and gunning, all that kind of fun stuff, hiding and ambushing your enemy, sniper rifles are great. But for a beginner, start with a spring gun, just get used to it, you know, the whole thing of shooting accurately actually, not just spraying and praying. Is, is really pretty interesting to get into. Um, then get an AEG sniper rifle, which I am saving up for. When I get that, I will review it for you guys. But I do not hold it yet. And I'm out. Yeah, this magazine. The original magazine I got with this gun had broken. This little weak feed lip over here. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Yeah, see this thing right there. That had popped out when, my, when I had lent this to one of my friends to use in a battle. But I'm, uh, it's not all that bad. The magazine's 12 bucks. Um, you can see all the rounds you put in. They go along this channel. Really cool. So, and when you, if you're wondering how much ammo you have, you flip the gun over and then you see on the bottom, when I load this thing, I'll show you guys, all your BBs are all lined up here and then they go up into this part, which after that, you know, you have five rounds left if it goes to here. But I'm, uh, yeah, so... Taking shots from about a hundred feet. Now this is from 100 feet. Okay, group, I was shooting rapidly. But um, notice, nearly all the shots are through and through. There is no BBs on the floor except that one, but that one might be old. 
And um, yeah, it's pretty powerful and can lay down consistent fire. If you notice the way I put the rounds down range, it was, it's a good suppression gun too. You suppress one guy with the sniper rifle rounds and another guy takes him out with the assault rifle. Military combat tactics, guerrilla tactics, whatever you want to call it. But, pretty good. To conclude this review, I just want to say that the AGM VSR-10 or JG VSR-10, whichever one of those $60 sniper rifles this is, which I have totally cannot remember, is a great gun. Shoots 450 FPS out of the box. Slowly wears down. Mine shoots about 420 now. Still nastily powerful if you get shot at point blank. But not horrendous like a 500 FPS gun. And I'm um, a uh, great gun. Spring, simple. You know, easy to use. Let's see. Very nice. Easy to upgrade. Some nice with bipods. The one I got was just the bare bones. Spartan model, you know. I actually used to fight with the rifle without any sights on it. It worked okay, and just not up against AEGs. But against other spring guns or two or gas handguns, this thing works great. Outranges, it's powerful, very nice, and um, an overall great gun. Thanks for watching, guys.